Hey everyone, so today's video again is on probiotics because I need to stress the importance of how a probiotic is really going to help you take your life to the next level. If you're not already taking one, you got to be taking one. So I hope that you know this by now. So the thing is that when you go to the store, there's so many different options with different supplements and you can get lost. I mean, there's so many different strains of probiotics and different brands and it's very confusing. So I hope that this video will provide some clarity for you and I can help you to decide and determine which probiotic is best for you. Okay, so in simple terms, a probiotic is kind of like finding a mate. It's like finding your partner in life. Now, before you jump to conclusions, let me explain. So, when you are trying to find your partner in life, you want somebody who is reliable, somebody who's gonna fight for you, stick up for you, be there when you need them. They even love you because in a way, when the two of you come together, you're one. Well, a good probiotic works the same way. The flora in your gut affects your well-being and even your emotions and how you think. When you have an invasion of bad gut bacteria, you might start to feel like you're losing your mind. Ever had a crazy boyfriend or girlfriend that drove you insane, that made you feel like you're losing your mind? Well, it's the same thing when you have really bad bacteria in your body. Okay, so here's my tips. Number one is to stay away from probiotics that require refrigeration. Anything that requires refrigeration, like you don't have control of how long that item has been out of refrigeration during transportation, while it's been at the store, and also your body has a way higher temperature than the fridge, so if it's unstable um, in a higher temperature, imagine what it could do in your body. Okay, number two is to use freeze-dried cultures. Freeze drying is basically the process of removing all the water. So the probiotics remain dormant until they are put with water again. So they're dormant while they're in their capsules and as soon as you ingest them, they spring back to life. Also, the best formulas use natural ingredients for stabilizers such as rice bran. And you also wanna make sure that the capsule is made from natural ingredients instead of bovine or gelatin. Number three is to buy probiotics that come from fermented foods. Now ideally the best way to get in your probiotics is from fermented vegetables, but it's unrealistic to consume that large quantities of fermented foods. Remember it's supplements. Supplements are a supplement to your healthy diet which you already have. Okay, so those are my top three tips to help you find the best probiotic. Now. Remember that what you can find in stores is quite limited. I always prefer to shop for high quality supplements online. So my personal favorite probiotics, which I love and adore, is called Probiotic P3OM. So this probiotic is not meant to be in the fridge, so you don't have to refrigerate it. It is freeze dried, and it's got one of the most beneficial strains of good bacteria called L Plantarum OM, which you can find in sauerkraut and kimchi. So this probiotic has helped me immensely. It's helped me really well with my digestive system. I've never had a great digestive system, as I mentioned in my other video, but um, it helps me with that. It also helps me just give me more energy because I know when I have a lot of good gut bacteria, I have more energy, more vitality. I know that you guys are gonna love it, so I'll link the links down below for you to try it out. And if you have tried it out, leave me a comment below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about probiotics, please don't hesitate to comment below and I will provide you information. I love this. It's one of my best friends. So we're going to go and have some now. Bye, guys.